Finally, he's come back. Ladies and gentlemen, he is here. You know him. He is Rick the Rock. That's right, I am Rick the Rock. And this is the only channel. It's the People's WE channel. And you guys know what to do. Team Ring It Worldwide, go and view and like my Facebook page, the People's WWE page, Team Bring It, as well as WWE and World Wrestling Network on Facebook. Like and subscribe. If you like and subscribe, you get a shout out. And it will come from story, The Wizard of Rock. Check out all my other videos, such as my Smackdown review. Share this video all over the people's internet. Tell your friends about Rick the Rock. I'm on Facebook with Richard J.P. And do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Rick the Rock Pate. Speaking of shout out, I just want to give a shout out to James Campbell. Hi. I know you watched my videos and you came and spoke to me last night. Great to meet you. Great to meet a fan of my channel. Um, and thanks for having me on Facebook. But and I'm glad you enjoyed the show also. But this is the PCW Review. So it's a review for PCW Spring Slam 2016. I am wearing the two, PCW Spring Slam 2016 t-shirt for free. I got it free with my ticket. So as always, I have got some stuff signed, which I'll show you at the end. So make sure to stay to the end. But I'm going to run through the matches first and give my opinions. So for show one, Friday night, it was Lionheart taking on Sammy Smooth. Very quick match. Sammy Smooth coming out with the win. Um, and then he joined the firm. So joined Shah Samuels and the London Riots. The bastard Dave Mastiff beat from ICW Wolfgang. This was an alright match. In a fatal four-way match, this was a decent match. Bubblegum beat Martin Kirby, Liam Lazarus and El Aguero. In tag team action, the, he's cool, he, he's cocky, he's bad. The Honky Tonk Man and Dalton Castle beat Interracial Love, Ashton Smith and Charlie Garrett. This was a really good match. Great, great to see the Honky Tonk Man wrestling. Matt Seidel or Evan Bourne beat Travis Banks. Not much to be said there. The, the Alpha Piece, Yeston Reese, um, issued an Alpha Lot Challenge. So you've got, I mean, the rivalry with Chris Masters and Dave Rain accepted. Didn't, didn't break the lock, not the Alpha Lock. In tag team action, the PCW Tag Team Champions team single beat PCW Champion Shah Samuels and Sammy Smooth with special two special guest referees, Norm Dar and a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And then in an elimination fatal four-way match where the losers will be eliminated from the tag team tournament, War Machine beat Fight Club, the Hooligans and London Riots, so Fight Club were eliminated. Show two on Saturday morning, the Rascal Bubblegum beat Lionheart. This was a good match. In a comedy match, Martin Kirby beat El Leguero, so good to see Kirby getting a win there. A match for the PCW Championship, Sarf Samuels beat Hashtag Boom, Dave Rain. Not really much to be said there, but it looks like Charles just ploughing through the whole PCW roster. Sammy Smooth beat Travis Banks, not much to be said there. In a good match, Team Single beat Fight Club. The Bastard Dave Mastiff beat Matt Seidel or Evan Bourne. Going for a Dave Mastiff here. Yeston Reese beat Dalton Castle. That was predictable. And then it was a triple threat match, elimination match, and Hooligans beat London Riots and War Machine. So the London Riots were eliminated. And then Shaw 3 on Saturday night. It was a finals, and the winners would get a tag team title shot on the next event next Saturday. And War Machine beat the Hooligans. So it will be Team Seagull taking on War Machine next Saturday at Club Domain in Blackpool. Dave Massey beat Yeston Reese by DQ because Yeston wouldn't let go of the Alpha Lock or Master Lock. Rampage Brown beat Sammy Smooth, not much to be said here. In six man action, Hongi Top Man, Martin Kirby, and Joey Hayes beat Joe Henry in Fight Club. Bubblegum in a really good match beat Matt Sardell or Evan Moran. Dalton Castle beat El Aguero, so he needed that win. The five time WCW Champion Hall of Famer. Booker T beat Lionheart. Very quick, really, really quick match. He just did a book end and then pinned him, but this was, that was really cool. 
Um, and then your main event was for the PCW Championship. It was the East End Butcher, Shah Samuels, taking on the one out of the PCW Tag Team Champions, T-Bone, with special enforcer of the Hall of Famer, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Come out with the win and still your PCW Champion, Shah Samuels. So a really good event. There was a QA and a on, on Friday night uh, of Honky Top Man. There's a video of that. Go and check that out. Uh, Honky Top Man did a, a concert sang his theme song, that was great. I did get some stuff signed, so I'll show you that now. War Machine signed a picture, which we can see that or not. Don Castle signed a picture. Rookie the Dragon Steamboat signed picture. Honky Tonk Man signed WrestleMania um, 4 and five. These are on Facebook, so if you've got to have a look on there. Evan Bourne signed figure. And Booker T signed figure. Booker T signed his book. His biography. Evan Bourne. Well, Matt, it's really dark, but he signed WrestleMania 26. Ritter Dragon Steamboat signed WrestleMania 1. A second. Booker T signed my WWE Encyclopedia. Evan Bourne signed my WWE Encyclopedia. And last but certainly not least. The Honky Tonk Man signed by Encyclopedia. I also got a signed beer bottle off the Honky Tonk Man. That was really cool, so that goes in my collection. As I've said, I've put pictures of all my stuff on Facebook, so go and check get checking those out. Once again, James Campbell, thank, thank you for coming saying hello. It was great to meet you. You guys know what to do. Team Bring It. All you guys, like, subscribe, add and follow. But for now... See you next Saturday if you smell what the rock is cooking.